live stream viewers. We are delighted that you're here today with me, Paula Shaw, and Change It Up Radio. It's the eve of Valentine's Day, so I'm wearing my pink and sitting in my burgundy chair, so I'll be in the theme of things. I hope all of you are surrounded by lots of love on this eve of Valentine's Day, whether that is a romantic love or just the love of family and friends and everybody around you. Thanks for being with us today, and I think it's time that we start this show. Tired of the rut you're stuck in, but don't know what to do? Change it up! Join Life Transitions therapist, speaker, and best-selling author Paula Shaw. She'll be exploring topics that make change and the challenge it presents smoother and more productive. She'll also be spotlighting change makers who are leading the charge to make the world a better place. If you're ready to live a more exciting life, at home, in the workplace, and around the world, it's time to step out of your comfort zone and change it up. Now, here's your host, Paula Shaw. Well. Oh my goodness. (laughs) Whoa. Let's try that again. Welcome to Change It Up Radio. I'm your host, Paula Shaw, and I'm delighted to have you here with me today. My goodness, a giant frog jumped into my throat when I started the show. (laughs) Thank goodness it's gone now. Well, welcome to Change It Up Radio. Those of you who follow us know that we're all about dealing with change, whether that is bringing you change makers who are trying to make the world a better place, or bringing you information to help you better deal with change. We're about change. We're here to help with change because change is like the only constant that there is, isn't it? And even though we, we know it's going to happen, We know that this too shall pass, whether your circumstances are great or your circumstances are awful. Change is is inevitable. And so I'm I'm an author. I'm a life transitions coach. So even in my private practice, I'm helping people deal with change. And very often I am using the tools of energy psychology to help them with that because it just they bypass the conscious mind and they make smooth, smoother, more productive change happen more easily. I'm also a speaker, and today I'm calling this show Sing Your Song to the World. And, and sometimes singing our songs comes in the way we live our lives. Sometimes singing our songs comes in getting out there and being a speaker or being a trainer or someone, a motivator, someone who is, has got something to say and they are actively working to share that with other people. And my guest today, Jackie Lappin, is an expert at helping people sing their songs. She's a former publicist and now she is the creator of an amazing website called Speakertunity. So please stay with us, because in our next segment, Jackie Lappin will be joining us. And those of you who are thinking about singing your song in a bigger way will learn some great tips from Jackie. But before we go to that, I was thinking about this whole idea of singing your own song, standing for what you believe, standing for what you're passionate about, and I'm going to do something that I never usually do. I'm going to read you something that has impacted my life in such a big way, and it's by an author that I adore, Alan Cohen, who's written several books with daily readings uh, that you can just start your day off with a bit of wisdom with. And I think before we can actually sing our song, we have to be really clear about what it is. What is your song? What is your message? What is the thing you feel passionate about? And sometimes that's confusing to figure out because we're pulled this way and that way by other people's desires for us or their expectations of who we should be and what we should be. But I want to read you this piece by Alan Cohen because I think it's such a beautiful uh, 
such a beautiful way to deal with the life of another human being. And you'll see what I mean in just a moment. <clears throat> okay. When a woman in a certain African tribe knows she's pregnant, she goes out into the wilderness with a few friends. Together, they pray and meditate until they hear the baby's unique song. As they attune to it, the women sing it out loud. Then they return to the tribe and teach it to everyone else. When the child is born, the community gathers and sings the child's song to them. When the child enters school, the villagers gather and sing the song. When the child passes through the initiation to adulthood, the people again come together and sing. At the altar of marriage, the person hears their song. And finally, when it's time for the soul to pass from this world, the family and friends gather at the person's bed, just as they did at their birth, and they sing the person to the next life. There is one other occasion upon which the villagers sing to the child. If at any time during the person's life they commit a crime or a socially aberrant act, they're called to the center of the village. There the people in the community form a circle around the person and sing their song to them. Because a friend is someone who knows your song and sings it to you when you've forgotten it yourself. Those who love you are not fooled by mistakes you have made or dark images you hold about yourself. They remember your beauty when you feel ugly, your wholeness when you're broken, your innocence when you feel guilty, and your purpose when you're confused. Your soul has its own song, your unique energy and purpose expressed through your talents, passions, and visions. When you're in touch with your joy and act upon it, your heart feels full and your life is rewarding. When you're disconnected from your passion, you feel empty, your life is frustrating, and you wonder what you're doing here. Yet even when you're distracted by the fears and troubles of the world, your song still lives inside. Through all difficulties, detours, or setbacks, your spirit guides you from within, urging you as you carry on and emerge shining. In the face of great challenge, your inner knowledge comes forth in unprecedented power. All of your life lessons help you to get back in touch with the music of your soul. Others may try to influence you to sing their song rather than yours. If you do, you'll become resentful and lose your voice. To regain it, get back in touch with your truth and act on it. Never deny your expression for another's. You can harmonize with and support someone else, but don't do it at the expense of your own happiness. I love that idea. I love this concept that he's talking about, that each one of us is this beautiful, unique being that came here to live and to serve in a unique way. But yes, we, we often get out of touch with our soul's song. We get out of touch with who we really are and what we came here to do and what, what makes us happy and what helps us to thrive. But, but the trick is, or the answer, I should say, is clear. The answer is get back into your soul. Get back into your song. And remember, you didn't come here to sing someone else's song your whole life. You came here to look around, to learn, to grow, and to find your song so that when your moment comes, you can shine forth through that song that is really the true you. And if you want, if your dream is to become a public speaker, or your dream is to go out and teach and train, or your dream is to discover something or create something, before you can get there, you have to be clear who you are. You have to be clear what your soul's song is. And then through that song, you can find your way to 
whatever needs to come next. One of the things that I'm excited to have you hear in our next segment are some of the ways that Jackie Lappin has created to help people who have something to say, who have this song to sing, help them get out into the world. Because that part can be tricky. I can tell you from my own experience, I've written three books, uh, and, and I am a public speaker, and I love speaking. But it's almost a full-time job finding those venues, finding the places to speak, and then making the time to speak. And so that's why you don't want to put that kind of energy into something you're not passionate about, that you don't truly believe in. But when you are passionate about whatever it is that you want to say to the world, then it isn't work anymore. Then it isn't hard anymore. It just becomes this beautiful flow that enhances your energy, increases your energy, and gives you a chance to soar because you're in this vibration of the true you. So before you can go out there and be that effective person, and some of us have known since we were children that we were supposed to do something like that. I can remember when I was 12 years old reading Barbara Walter's book. She wrote this book called How to Talk to Anybody About Practically Anything. And I knew in the moment I finished that book, someday I would be interviewing people. I would be doing what Barbara Walters did. Now, I I do it in a different way, but I do it. And I think others of you have probably had those kind of experiences where you knew, you knew from moment one, that thing that you really wanted to do. And sometimes people say, oh, come on, you know, nobody ever gets to do that. Or three people out of 10,000 make it. You know, if your dream is to act or to sing or to be a motivational speaker or a teacher or a judge or a doctor, whatever that dream is, whatever your song is about, don't let anybody stop you. Tune in. Tune into your soul. Get clear about what it is you really love, you really believe, you really want. And then the the actions, the steps to take will appear. They'll be clear. And you will be able to go out there and sing your song to the world and let your soul soar. And in our next segment, Jackie Lappin will be joining us to give us some great tips about how to do just that. All right, we'll be right back. We'll be right back with more Change It Up with Paula Shaw on AM 1170, The Answer. Hi, I'm Kelly Klein of One Trust Home Loans, Loan Coach Kelly. A while back, my business was in a slump, and it triggered a lot of self-doubt and fear. And it even had me questioning if I'd made the right career choice. So I booked a session with Paula Shaw. And after hearing my predicament, she explained that when we get into negative, self-sabotaging thinking, and we are being run over by our limiting beliefs, it's almost impossible to create positive outcomes. She helped me clear those destructive thoughts and beliefs using her cutting-edge energy psychology techniques. Not only did I feel a whole lot better after the session, but within two weeks, I had seven loans in my pipeline. I was so glad that I went to see Paula Shaw, and you should too. It really changed my perspective on life, business, and now my business is going great. You can reach her at 626-864-0756, 864-0756, or check her out at paulashaw.com. That's paulashaw.com. For those looking to improve their lives, there's nobody better to turn to than Paula Shaw. Paula helps people regain successful lives by identifying and eliminating multitude of mind-body techniques to identify and resolve their core issues. Working with a wide variety of healing modalities, she provides her clients with the most effective process for their specific needs. To book a session with Paula, call 858-480-9234. That's 858-480-9234. Welcome back to Change It Up. Now here's your host, Paula Shaw. Welcome back to Change It Up Radio, here with Paula Shaw. And as promised in this segment, we are going to be talking with Jackie Lappin. 
So let me tell you just a little bit about Jackie so that you'll be all set for all the wonderful things we're going to learn from her. She's a leader in helping leaders, authors, coaches, and speakers with their messages and to connect to their next followers around the globe. For the past 10 years, she's been internationally acclaimed conscious companies. Her internationally acclaimed conscious companies have been providing PR campaigns, radio podcast media tours, which you've got to hear about, and speaking engagements to support growth and revenue. She's had clients like Don Miguel Ruiz, uh, James Twyman, Ariel Ford. This lady's been out there, and she's done it. And now she provides resources and guidance through her speaker tunity programs. And we will be talking to her about just that in a moment. So, Jackie Lappin, I'm so delighted that you're here with us today. Welcome. Oh, I'm thrilled to be here. Thank you. This is um, just a delight to reconnect with you as always. And I am really pleased to be able to bring some of this information to your community. Thank you, Jackie. And I, I am so excited about everything you have to tell them. And, you know, in the first segment, I'm actually calling this show Sing Your Song to the World. Mm-hmm. And uh, in the first segment, I was talking about finding out what your song actually is. What is it you're passionate about? What is your mission? And then, once you know that, then the trick is, how do you get it out there? What do you do? And I've promised them that you're a person who can give us some great tips about how to do that. But first, Jackie, tell us about your personal mission and vision. Well, I work to make sure that the messengers of the world, people who are improving the world one person at a time, one issue at a time, have a greater audiences so together we can change the world. I'm all about getting people booked so that they can tell their story and deliver their information and enroll people in programs that are going to help them advance. That's what I, I know I was brought here to do, and I love doing it. And you do it so well. So if a person knows they want to be a speaker, Jackie, what are some basic things they should know or what are some things they need to do? Well, the first thing, obviously, is you need to have a great signature talk. That's the most important thing that you talked about. What Once you know uh, what your song is, um, how to deliver that. Mm-hmm. Uh, the next thing is you have to have a great offer. What is it that you're going to offer them to oh. engage them, or whether it's a book or whether it's a program or a service or something of that nature? Okay. Uh, the next thing is that you really need to have the materials that are going to get you booked. For example, one of the most important things is a great speaker one sheet. And a speaker one sheet is just that, a one sheet that really tells the speaker booker who you are and why you're going to change the life of that audience member. You know, most people think that when they put together something like a pitch or a a, a, a resume, it's all about the credentials. But when you're pitching yourself as a speaker, it's not about your credentials. That's secondary. What's most important is how you're going to solve the problem for the person sitting in the audience. So ah. your speaker one sheet has to address that in your um, in your headline and in the in the body copy of your bio. And then you have to have a three, and I recommend three different propos- presentations mm-hmm. because you may be talking to two or three different audiences. Right. And if you have only one arrow. In your quiver, it better be a bullseye. <laughs> but if you have three, that's going to give you three different options. Yes. Um, and the next thing is that you want to have great testimonials, and preferably from people who booked you in the past. Now, you can use your client testimonials and from people who've seen you in the audience kind of as a holding spot until you get those from people who have booked you. Now, a couple other things that you need to have are current photos. You know, a lot of times, we I know we're all a little vain, but if you show show up looking, you know, very different than the photos you took 10 years ago, <laughs> that's going to be a disconnect for the booker and the audience. Yes. So uh, make sure that the, you have current photos. And, and I'm not saying you can't touch them up. You can. Um, and the next thing is, um, and so that's what, your, what goes into your speaker one sheet. But 
you also need to have a contemporary website and one that actually um, you know, is is horizontal in nature and has lots of of graphics and a, a very little amount of words, because that's the current style. And if a speaker booker, when they when you pitch yourself to them, the first thing they're going to do is go look at your website, right. and it's outdated. That's going to get you rejected almost right away. So you want to you want to have those things in place. You want to have and if, and in some cases you might be speaking to make a free offer to get people into your community, and it may not be a, an offer for sale. So you want to have a great opt-in, whatever it is that's going to be exciting for them to uh, take advantage of, yes. something so irresistible they have to have it. And you can get them to opt-in through either a text on the cell phone or putting a card in a, in a, in a, um, uh, 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 you know, a, a uh, dish that's get put, put around. There's lots of different ways to get people to sign up, but... You want them to ultimately get connected into your community because they're so excited because they want to learn more from you. Um, yes. Those are some really, really important tools that you need to have before you get out and start speaking. And um, and then here's another one that's really, really important. You have to make the time um, because a lot of times when people um, set an intention of going out to speak, they say, well, I'll get around to doing the booking when I have time yeah. at the end of the week. And at the end of the week, you look back and you say, well, I never had the time. So you literally have to make an appointment with yourself, book it in your calendar as you would any other appointment, mm -hmm. and use that recommended three hours a day to actually start making those phone calls, sending out those pitches, as I say, um, if you can't do the time, you can't earn the dime. <laughs> oh, that's very good, Jackie. If you can't do the time, you can't earn the dime. <laughs> and speaking of earning, you know, I mean, everybody dreams of being a high-priced speaker. And, it, you know, is there uh, or is getting paid to do the speech the only way you can make money as a speaker? Absolutely not. And frankly, most speakers will tell you that they would rather speak to enroll from the stage with an offer uh -huh. rather than actually get paid. Because if you are effective at doing that, you can actually make a ton more money. So let's say that you get paid three or $4,000 for a speaking engagement. Mm -hmm. If you're good at selling from the stage, you're actually going to make 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, even hundreds of thousands of dollars in one appearance. And you can do that even when a small crowd of five people, depending on what the promise is and what the opportunity is and how aligned with that audience that you are. So absolutely, local speaking is critical. Um, and what's good about local speaking is you're not incurring any travel costs. But right. it's a gold mine out there. You just need to get in front of the audiences at, with a pitch and a proposal and an and a offer that's going to make them really get excited about you. So um, it's not the other problem with paid speaking engagements a lot of times is the higher you go up the food chain, the more they're going to expect of you. And if you're not already an experienced speaker with lots of credentials, one, they're either not going to book you or two, they may book you, and if you're not really effective yet, you're still working on your presentation, mm -hmm. you may find that they um, will, will actually reject you, and, uh, or you, you may get, get the booking, and then you'll hear a lot of bad feedback. So yes. you don't want to go too, too high on the food chain until you're really, really ready. Um, and local, local speaking is just really a good way to start that for that. And when you say you speak about an offer, that would be something like perhaps um, your coaching program or some sort of a program that you lead and direct and you enroll people in to work Absolutely. with you, correct? Absolutely. It could be an e-course. It could be a mastermind. Ah. Um, it could be a, a yoga program. It could be a, you know, a, a, even, even a... a a, a small thing like a book plus, uh, you know, an e-course or something of that n nature. Yes. There's lots of ways to parse this out. And the more, and, and, and the, the more of your time that they get, it, it should be the more expensive program. Got it. Got it. So I think that's great advice for people out there because so often people think the only way that you really make money as a speaker is if you get to that 10,000, 15,000, 25,000 a speech level. But as you're saying, 
that's a huge level. I'm sure the air is rare up there, and there aren't that many speakers who are at that level. And you're right. If you have a $10,000 coaching program and you get 10 people, you've already made a whole lot more than somebody who's speaking at a set fee. That's- well, and let's talk about, Paula, a lot of this is just also general entrepreneurs. Let's say you have an insurance program or a service where you help people declutter their homes or whatever kind of a program that you're offering, if you are offer, if you go to the stage and offer value, give them information they can yes. use, and then make an offer, they're much more inclined to want to co- go with you. Now, the most, most speaking opportunities don't want you just to get up on the stage and start selling. Right. And that's a bad word in our world because we really want to make an offer. We want to make an invitation. Yes. Um, we want to enroll people. Those, those are better ways to look at this. But, you know, as long as you give value to the audience, mm-hmm. then they're perfectly happy to allow you to present your offer yes. as part of what you're doing on stage. That is such a great point, Jackie. And when we come back from this break, I want to talk to you about what you offer to help speakers find those places to speak and ways to help them get the gigs. So we'll be back in just a moment after this message. We'll be right back with more Change It Up with Paula Shaw on AM 1170, The Answer. If you could rebuild your health on a solid foundation, would you do it? Do you have health issues that doctors just can't get to the bottom of and all they do is prescribe pills to lessen your symptoms? Would you like a better way? Certified FDN practitioner Desiree Long founded Autoimmune Health Freedom because she struggled with health issues from childhood that could not be explained. Today, she lives a vibrant life, free of aches and pains, and full of energy to enjoy activities with her family. The life you would like to live. How did she do it? Autoimmune Health Freedom has the tools you need. For a free discovery session, call 858-248-1657. Or go to AutoimmuneHealthFreedom.com. That's AutoimmuneHealthFreedom.com. Yes, you can feel better again. You can rebuild your health. You can have the life you want. Call 858-248-1657. Desiree Mon is not licensed by the state of California as a healing arts practitioner. Is living in today's fast-paced world making you feel stressed and out of balance? Are anxiety, sleeplessness, depression, lack of focus, or weight gain robbing you of your relationship and your energy? If you're ready for change, you need to call Paula Shaw. Paula helps you identify and eliminate self-sabotaging thinking and behavior. Using a wide variety of mind-body techniques, she provides her clients with the most effective processes for their specific needs. To book a session with Paula, call 858-480-9234. That's 858-480-9234. Welcome back to Change It Up. Now here's your host, Paula Shaw. Welcome back to Change It Up Radio here with Paula Shaw. And with me today by phone is Jackie Lappin, who is a person who, who has created a lot of success for people through these, this amazing information she's giving us in helping people to be speakers and authors and ways of getting their message out there in a powerful way. In our last segment, she gave us some great tips about what you need to have in place if you want to be a speaker. And if you missed that segment, you're going to want to catch the replay of the show or just go to changeitupradio.com and click on our Listen In tab. And not only will the show be there, but notes and links that Jackie gives us and lots of great information. So be sure to check out changeitupradio.com. So Jackie, um, you gave us some fabulous tips. And now tell us what you've created that can really help speakers find the gigs. Well, my mission is to give you both speaking gig opportunities on stages, also radio shows and podcasts, and virtual summits. We want to make sure that you have a voice. You want to get it out there in multiple ways. Mm -hmm. Um, And so we do that under the brand of Speakertunity. 
So if you go to speakertunity.com, you're going to see a lot of the things that we're going to be talking about. But Paul has got, we've got a special offer for you we're going to talk about in a minute that I think you're going to love. So we have three individual speaking uh, uh, opportunities that are subscription-based. Mm-hmm. One is gives you speaker leads all over North America. Now, that's kind of a sampling of different speaker leads okay. um, that will give you an idea of what's out there in terms of meetings and conferences and lifestyle events and um, it, it, TEDx's and um, spiritual centers and bookstores and a variety of other places that you can deliver your message. Then, and that's called Speakertunity Speaker Lead. Then we have Speakertunity Radio Insider, where we give you 25 radio shows and podcasts every month so that you can actually go and take advantage of those and by sending a pitch to each of those radio shows and podcasts. And I have pulled those from my own database, and I'll tell you a little bit about the Done For You service in a minute, but we're experts in radio sh- and podcasts. And then the last one is Speaker Tunity Summit. So if you want to get booked on virtual summits, you know those cooperative events that they always say, come and listen to these 15 speakers? Right. Well, a lot of the reasons that people want to be on a v- virtual summit as a guest presenter is because it allows you to build your list really, really quickly. Mm-hmm. So we give you information about virtual summits with open guest presenter seats. Now, uh, I know how to get people booked because I have been doing radio podcast tours for the last, um, you know, t- 10 years, where we introduce authors to 9,000 radio shows and podcasts. So when I tell you that I pulled from that list, you know that my Speaker Tunity Radio Insider is this really go- a-, a great resource. So those are the three, and then what's nice about those is they're only $35 a month. They're very inexpensive. They're a great way to get started, and you'll have an idea of what those opportunities are. Um, now, if you really, really want to get booked in your market and really want to get out there in front of an audience and you know you've got that you really want to start the engine running, um, then we have Speaker Tunity Cities. And that's uh, and that is a great resource that gives you um, it, 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 between eight hundred and a thousand different speaking gigs in the market of your choice in four different categories: business, which is divided by thirty industries, ethnicities, and gender. Um, so, if you just want real estate people, or if you just want entrepreneurial organizations, or you just want women's business organizations, we've got it all sp- sparsed out for you. Wow. The next thing is uh, philanthropic and service groups, your Rotaries, your Seroptimists, your Kiwanis. Those are great places to go out and start speaking. And then the next category are all the places you touch the consumer, moms groups or health and wellness support groups or parenting or seniors or LGBT or military, and then libraries, bookstores, and hospitals. Um, that's in the consumer section. And the last are spiritual centers. So if you want unities and centers for spiritual living and faith-based groups and consciousness groups. Now that is a, that is a, a wonderful program that gives you so much benefit because you don't have to do any of the research. Just think the time that it would take you oh, to go find all God. those speaking gigs, and we've done it for you. Yes, that's fabulous. And, and this is a us, separate... We'll have links for all of these for you. And you're saying this is a separate directory, Jackie, from the speaker tunities directories you talked about in the beginning. It is, and that's much more expensive. It's mm-hmm. four hundred and seventy nine dollars for your first directory, and three ninety five for your next one. But the good news is, hey, what would it cost you to do this yourself? So that's a much more in depth program, and we're excited uh, about that. But uh, and and so, like I say, you can get there from directly from Paula's website. Um, and see all the information, um, and then um, and then I have this wonderful free offer. Shall I tell everybody about it, Paula? Oh, please, please. <laughs> so on the three subscription services, if you just want to experience what this is like and get started, we're going to make it. I'll give you a month free. So you can have a month free of Speaker Tunity Speaker Leads, a month free in Speaker Tunity Radio Insider, and a month free in in, uh, Speaker Tunity Summits. And that you can go and take advantage of those leads. It's not just a a looky-loo. You actually get to go and pursue those. 
So if you go to if you go to Apollo site, um, you're going to find those and you have that link, and then you go take you right in there. And you cannot get this any other way but through the link on her website. Perfect. And and on our website, that actually will be in the show notes for this show, uh, Jackie's show. And they're also on our media packages page on changeituprradio.com. There's a link to get this free offer, um, which is, let's see, if each, if each directory was 35 a month, Jackie, that offer is over $100 free offer to do a month to give it a shot to see if it works for you, right? Absolutely, absolutely. And, and Jackie, I know so many people think that the way to, to become a speaker is to get a TEDx event. And we've all seen a lot of TEDx events. Do you do anything to help people get into those? We sure do. We have a TEDx directory. Now, oh. here's, here's the problem with most TEDxs. You might find there's one in your neighborhood, and maybe, you know, you try to get into that one, or you maybe, um, you know, it's already booked, or... Um, you know, it's past time, but there are more TEDx's in your region. So what we have done is we've taken and broken the TEDx, uh, 400 of them down by state and by region. So if the one right next to you is is not available to you or you haven't yet gotten a yes from them, you can start booking all the other ones in your neighborhood. So we've done that for all of the U.S. and Canada and made it really easy for people to find their TEDx and get booked in it. And, you know, we've done it at a very reasonable cost. It's only $99. Oh, wow, that's fabulous. And, Jackie, what, how would you suggest to our listeners, if they are speakers and they want to use your directories, what's the best way to make the initial contact? Should they call or should they send an email? Well, TEDx is its own niche. So for that one, you really need to go to the, web, to, to the you know, we'll send you to the website or the link or, or um, the, co- the coordinator, and then you'll have to find out how they want it right. because sometimes they want a video and sometimes yeah. they want, you know, just a summary of what you're planning to present. But for most speaking engagements other than TEDx, mm-hmm. TEDx you want to do a very compelling proposal letter that's only about four to five paragraphs in length Okay. Um, but you want to attach your speaker one sheet, and if you have video of yourself presenting, three to five minutes of showing you from the stage, not a not a a, 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 a blitzy kind of a sizzle reel. What they want is they want to see how good you are on stage. They yes. want to see how you engage with the audience. Yes. So if you can include those those four or five paragraphs, send it as an email along with the speaker one sheet and the video. That is really the best way to go. And then do your follow up by phone. Okay, so I love that. Prepare that one. So that one sheet's pretty critical, isn't it? I absolutely think so. You know, and some people say, you know, it's out of date. People just go to the website. I am in complete disagreement. Um, I find that a speaker one sheet is very much something that you need to have. Yes. And, and is there somewhere or can people get like a template online of a one sheet if they have no idea what a one sheet should contain or what it should look Actually, like? Actually, the best thing to do is to go to and just email, Google a uh, speaker one sheet, and you're going to oh. see dozens and dozens and dozens. Of, we actually have a training program mm-hmm. at speakertinity.com that teaches you how to write your speaker one sheet and all the details that have to go into it and how you can get it uh, printed as well, That's- designed and printed. So. Um, you know, it, that's, a, that's a great resource if you really want to get into the nitty-gritty of it. Yes, and as I, 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 one thing I forgot to mention is that you send out to the members of Speakertunity, you send out these tip sheets and, and information every week, don't you? That's it. Those, the, the, the tip sheets, which, which include all the, you know, da- information about where to pitch yourself, also includes little tips. So we tell you some things that you should know about getting booked, and, and we make, make more information available to you with each one so that you're really um, on top of it and uh, learning as you go. Wow, Jackie. You know, I mean, for somebody that doesn't have a personal publicist doing all these things for them, and most of us don't, and most of us are doing them ourselves, Speakertunity is a leg up like has never existed before, as far as I know. Um, you know, because how would anybody have access to all these resources? So, well, and and you know what? I am happy to answer questions if people want to know more about various different 
aspects of what we're doing. And all people have to do is email me at Jackie at SpeakerTunity.com, and I am happy to uh, to clarify and to bring you know a- answer any questions. Well, that alone is a fabulous offer, and that was Jackie J A C K I E at SpeakerTunity.com. Jackie, I'm in your debt. I think you've given us some great information today, and thank you for the creation of Speaker Tunity. Um, I, you'll have to come back again because I know we're going to have lots of questions from viewers. And I thank you for your time today and for your wisdom and, and all the experience that you shared with us. Bless you. Well, pa- Paula, thank you for seeing, being such a good friend of, of, of ours at Speaker Tunity. Thank uh, you. Thank you. And in our next segment, we'll be answering some emails. We'll be right back. We'll be right back with more Change It Up with Paula Shaw on AM 1170, The Answer. Jack Gutman survived World War II and then returned home to the hardest fight of his life with PTSD and alcoholism. Now at age 93, he's a businessman and comedian, sharing his message of recovery and hope in his new book, One Veteran's Journey to Heal the Wounds of War. Helping our heroes and anyone who has experienced PTSD find happiness again. Get Jack Gutman's new book, One Veteran's Journey to Heal the Wounds of War, at Amazon.com. Or to order a signed copy, call 714-525-4954. For those looking to improve their lives, there's nobody better to turn to than Paula Shaw. Paula helps people regain successful lives by identifying and eliminating self-sabotaging behavior using a multitude of mind-body techniques to identify and resolve their core issues. Working with a wide variety of healing modalities, she provides her clients with the most effective process for their specific needs. To book a session with Paula, call 858-480-9234. That's 858-480-9234. Welcome back to Change It Up. Now here's your host, Paula Shaw. Welcome back to Change It Up Radio here with Paula Shaw. I'm so delighted you're here today. I hope you got lots of tips from Jackie Lappin if you're one who's looking at getting out there and singing your song in the world. And in this segment now, we're going to answer some emails. So my sound engineer, Todd James, is here to help me. Todd, are you there? And do we have some emails? I am here. And yes, we have some emails. (laughs) We have a couple. The first reads, Dear Paula, I'm in a relationship with a man who, in spite of knowing better, insists on eating a diet loaded with sugar. At the same Mm -hmm. time, he eats few vegetables and has a very stressful job. He acknowledges, he acknowledges that he should change, but makes no move to do anything about it. I'm finding myself feeling angry and irritated with him. Mm-hmm. If I love him, shouldn't I be able to accept him with the way, the way he is? How do I lose my anger? Signed, Lorraine. Ooh, Lorraine, boy, there's a lot of stuff in, in what you've shared. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, first of all, the question that I really that really jumped out at me is, Shouldn't I be able to accept him the way he is if I love him? And, of course, ideally, the answer to that is yes. We, we ideally want to love people as they are, not as who we think we can make them into becoming. Because nobody feels loved and accepted if they realize they're actually your project and that you're not going to be happy with them until they're the way you think they should be. So, yes, we do want to accept people the way they are. However, sometimes the way people are just isn't congruent with our own beliefs, with our own way of living life, with what we value and what we strive to do and to stand for in our own lives. And in that case, you're in a very difficult situation. And trust me, I've been there where you find yourself attracted to somebody, feeling you're in love with somebody, but things they do just aren't congruent with you. And and I urge you to look long-term, because we all know that in the beginning of a relationship, a lot of the attraction is physical. A lot of what we're attracted to is perhaps the personality we think we see, what we think this person is, but sometimes in, with time and with living through different circumstances with somebody, we begin to see a better view of 
who they really are. You know, in, in the words that we used earlier in the show, we begin to see the song of their soul, and perhaps that song isn't harmonious with your song. And when I'm working with clients one-on-one, -on -one, which I do in my private practice, you know, I often do tell people we really don't have a right to um, hold a gun to somebody's head and basically say, if you don't change or if you don't do this, I'm not going to be here anymore. That's no way to keep a relationship together, and people do it too often. But really, truly, I think the only option is you accept somebody the way they are, or you just have to disconnect from that relationship. Because it might very well be that the way that person is just isn't going to be comfortable and congruent for you, just isn't going to create a circumstance in which you can live happily. So, yeah, I, I really understand when somebody is doing things that <laughs> either you find appalling or you find, ah, you know, difficult or it's just so not the way you're choosing to live your life. For example, if you're, if you're into fitness and you're eating beautifully and you're at the gym every day or walking every day or doing something that's good for you, if you take your supplements and your sleep is important to you and having this healthy, active lifestyle is really a big part of who you are, then it won't be easy for you to be in a relationship with somebody who sits and drinks Coke all day or eats processed food and candy and hasn't seen a gym in 10 years, and you, you get the picture. That, that then turns into one of those relationships where somebody is nagging somebody else or somebody is constantly pointing out to the other person that what they're doing isn't good or isn't okay. And nobody is happy in that relationship. The nagger isn't happy. Trust me, I've been her. And the person being nagged is not happy. So in general, I would say find somebody to love who you have a lot in common with and that you're congruent with in a lot of ways. Unlikely we're going to be totally congruent with somebody in every way, but in the big ones. If spirituality is important to you, you can't be comfortable and happy with somebody who has no spirituality, no spiritual practice in their life. If fitness is important, you need somebody you can walk and run with or ride a bike with. So find that person where the big pieces come together, and then your Valentine's Days will be a lot happier. Okay, Todd, do we have another one? Do we have one more. This one reads, Dear Paula, my New Year's resolution is to lose 25 pounds, or my New Year's resolution to lose 25 pounds is already slipping away. It's mm -hmm. so hard to break my habits of comforting myself with food, especially now because I'm going through a stressful time at work. Mm -hmm. Do you know of a good diet that is effective that I could try? Maybe I just haven't tried one that, is, that has most of the foods I like. <laughs> what would you suggest? Signed, Marion. Marion? Marion, um... You know, you bring up some really great points there. And I would say, first of all, there are a zillion diets out there, aren't there? And every year, more new ones come out. And the first thing we have to remember is that each one of us is a unique body. And so finding what, what works for you may be different than the instructions you read in the book about the latest and greatest diet. So I think that's the first thing. You, you have to find... Foods that you do like, that are healthy for you, that you digest well, and that, that give you joy. I mean, we didn't come to the earth to suffer. We came to grow and learn and also to experience joy. But one of the points you made in what you said about your comfort eating, I think this is a thing a lot of us don't realize about food, and that is Sometimes our eating is a means of soothing or distracting ourselves from something that's bringing us pain, whether that's your relationship or your job or a certain circumstance in life. When we have emotional pain, 
eating and drinking or using or shopping or gambling or anything that distracts us does not heal us. It's just a temporary fix. It's a temporary distraction. And when that distraction wears off or when that activity is over, the pain will still be there. So I think it's critical in weight loss and in all kinds of other life change that people are trying to implement. You've got to get to the core. You've got to get to what is it that's causing you pain? What is it that's making you unhappy that you need to eat or use or whatever over? What are you trying to distract yourself from? And I highly recommend, once you get clear about that, seek help. Seek a professional who works with that kind of an issue. Seek someone who can help you. In my practice, one of the things that I found to be so wonderful and such a great gift to people are the tools of energy psychology and mind-body work, the, the kind of stuff that brings us into the present moment and that can also work with the energy system and the subconscious mind. Those kinds of tools can change us much more quickly than just talk therapy or just trying not to think about it or having an occasional chat with a friend. I think if, if there's a problem in your life, if there's an area that's not working, then you need to commit to some clear, focused, committed work that's going to help you heal the issues that are underneath what you're feeling. Because if you don't, everything you do is really just slapping a Band-Aid on a wound that isn't healed. And I think that if we want true life change, if we really want something badly enough, get clear about what you want. And then get clear about what's stopping you, what's underneath, what's the pain, and then take the action to heal that pain. And when you're coming from a healed energy, it's so much easier to be choiceful, choiceful about your food, choiceful about your activities, choiceful in what you do so you can support yourself, support your body, support your mind, support your heart and your emotions in a positive way. All right, that pretty much wraps up our show today, and I just want to remind everybody that we're on KCBQ AM 1170, The Answer, and 96.1 FM every Sunday evening at 9. We're on every major podcast platform, including iHeartRadio and Blog Talk Radio. And if you'd like to learn more about me, Paula Shaw, and my work, you can learn a lot about me on my website, paulashaw.com. And if you're interested in talking to me about being a speaker at your event, you can go to paulashawspeaks.com. And you should find all the information that you need right there. And don't forget, if you want to hear past episodes of our show and you want to get show notes on any of the shows, and if you want to get those special offers Jackie made today for a free month of speaker tunity, just go to changeitupradio.com, and when you click on her show, which will be posted very soon, then that'll take you to a page with all the links you need. So thanks for being with us, and we look forward to seeing you again with next week. Transitions expert, Bye-bye. speaker, and best-selling author, Paula Shaw. Join the Change It Up movement with Paula Shaw as we explore topics that inspire, welcome change, and create a new kind of conversation. To learn more about Paula, how to be a guest on the show, and sponsorship opportunities, visit changeitupradio.com. Whether you're feeling happy, sad, mad, or glad, it never hurts to change it up. Thank you, Facebook live stream viewers, for being with us. I hope you learned a lot that will be real helpful to those of you who want to get out there and do some speaking and sing your song to the world. We'll be right here at the same time, the same place next week, next Thursday at noon. So please join us. We are going to be talking to J.C. Cooley, who's written a best-selling book, and 
He has a great message. So please be with us. See you then. Bye-bye.